summer development has sparked the recommitment to our mission as we instill in our students the desire to be lifelong learners. We too desire excellence in our craft. We continue to seek to fulfill our potential as educators by building habits of the mind, promoting personal growth, knowledge and understanding. Knowledge is powerful and from Ron Berger, Susie Boss and Rob Brearden, we have learned. In math, there are many basic skills that a student needs to learn to progress through high school. As their instructors, we would like to reach more of the students and improve their retention of the material by using innovative teaching methodology. One of our lesson study topics is how to use iPads in the classroom to help with student learning. We started with a lesson using software called Algebra Touch, then observed the students using the iPads to review homework problems and test preparation. In this video, the students are using the iPads to relearn material covered the previous day by playing a team game and earning points for airhead candy. During our professional development series this summer, Ron Berger talked at length about authentic assignments. Blogging is one way I foster that idea in my 8th grade English classes. Typically, when students write, the teacher and maybe one or two other students are the only people who see the work. There really is no audience for what the student is saying, and it is often hard for students to see the value in their own work. When my students blog, they write for a public audience, knowing that not only will their peers and parents have access to their thoughts, but so will people all over the world. When they receive comments from strangers or notice that people as far away as Australia have read their writing, they see the value and purpose in what they are doing. They realize their voice is heard and as a result are intrinsically motivated to improve their craft. As one student reflected upon completing her first post, at times I felt like giving up, but then I'd remember we were posting on the blog and I became excited. That is the power of an audience of many. No, sorry, Emma, Through the use of Schoology, our eighth grade Spanish students at Worcester Academy have begun a project on connecting with a group of students from Medellin, Colombia, where they are presenting a project about themselves and the students in Colombia are also sending along a project about themselves and students are paired up in a pen pal type connection through the use of video and discussion forums. Students are using essential Spanish vocabulary to describe themselves, their families, their interests, and creating a multimedia presentation for the other students to view. The students in Colombia are doing the same type of multimedia format. Students then are able to give feedback and make connections from their presentations using the comment feature in the discussion forums of Schoology. The students then have a chance to plan and practice new questions for a future Hangout in Google Hangout in a way that students can then interact in real time and make connections for a conversation in Spanish through the Google Hangout feature. Our Worcester Academy students will then report and reflect on this cultural exchange experience. We feel that this truly helps students understand the use of technology and it really is innovative teaching and learning. Latin II students had a chance to visit the middle school and teach a lesson on classical architecture as an extension of a lesson study unit designed for Latin II. The lesson was the next to the last step in a unit that combined elements of classical architecture with corresponding Latin terms. These students worked collaboratively in groups to design a 30-minute lesson based on their work in Latin II. Students created a Google presentation based on five orders of classical columns. As an extension of the lesson, sixth graders engaged in an art activity and participated in a scavenger hunt for examples of classical architecture on campus itself based on pictures that Latin II students had incorporated in their presentations. Uh, over the last summer, the faculty read this book by Ron Berger called An Ethic of Excellence. And one of the things that, well actually I got two really important things out of this book. And one is that students have a, a great ability to uh, work as editors 
if they are given some guidance and some tools to help them along the path to help one another. I think what typically happens with peer editing and writing is students change papers and they might um, look for grammar mistakes, but they don't look for the bigger things like is my idea developed? How does this hang together? Am I expressing myself well? And some of the things that, that we really want them to do when they edit their work, they wind up maybe sort of proofreading one another. So um, what Ron Berger describes in this book is students who critique, uh, they'll have a, a, a student's work on the board in on display for everybody in the class to look at, and they will talk together about ways in which the work can be improved and made better. So um, we tried it and the results have been really fantastic. I think that the writing workshop helps me as a student see what other students are doing and see how they answer some of the prompts that we work at and also helps me kind of look at my papers and see what I can edit just based on what we've edited together in class. Uh, I think writing workshops help me because they give me extra time to work with the teacher, so she can help me write a better essay and be better in class. I like writing workshop because it helps me edit my papers and get my classmates' opinion on my paper. Great. I've seen the classroom come together as a community in a way that I don't think I've experienced before because they're really learning together and helping each other out and really sharing their writing and it matters to them because somebody else is going to see it. And I think they really appreciate the feedback that they're getting from their peers because it's helping them become better writers and it's helping them think more about the big picture things that I've been struggling as a teacher to get students to think about in their writing. I'm finding that they're going back and they're revising even after the writing has been great. So now it's the writing that the students care about and not the grade, which is so different uh, from, from what I've experienced in the past. In December, Worcester Academy students participated in the Hour of Code. Students learned basic programming through their math class with Danny McAvoy, who teaches computer science and math. Danny also co-advises upper school robotics and advises the middle school scratch club where middlers learn programming. Danny's mechanical design class recently took on the project of designing locker spaces in Walker Hall. They concluded that lockers would not be the best way to use the space. They drew up plans, created prototypes, and pitched their ideas to Ron Sino, Tom DeConza, and the architects. In January, the faculty explored innovative teaching practices by participating in an unconference. This format allowed teachers to design their own professional development experience. Each faculty member had the opportunity to propose at least one workshop topic. After a quick vote to determine the most popular topics, teachers were able to choose which workshops they were going to attend. Some of the workshops were entitled Project-Based Learning, finding the right balance between old practices and new practices, failure as a means for growth, and fostering student independence and agency. The unconference was a very positive experience for the faculty and one that will be repeated in the future. The key to our mission is balance. Just the right amount of innovation blended with the Worcester Academy tradition also embedded within our core values of honor, respect, community, personal growth, and challenge. Ideally, our mission is to give kids the leeway and the freedom to maintain a sense of exploration, to be their own agents of learning while still providing a framework. The teachers to create the space to allow rigorous application of the essentials of reading, writing, and arithmetic while fostering inquiry and learning.